Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to some. How are we all doing today? Hopefully we're doing well. Who are we having here today? I see Katrina here. So, I didn't have any really weird dreams this morning that I can remember, like yesterday. I miss Dana. It's going well. I got up this morning and got everything I kind of needed and was wanting to use for this canvas today. I had to do, had to do a little bit of research on what I wanted to do. I have a mind of what I'm wanting to do, but I don't know how I'm going to do it right just this second. But I'll get her done. Hi, Monica. Plug that up just in case. Hi, Miss Laura. I try to smile. I try. <clears throat> My voice is going to be froggy today. So I checked on our uh, our tree this morning, and guess what? It's dry. Tea totally dry. I kept it under one of my big fans all night long and all this morning. And so when I came in here to check, it was tea totally dry. So Tuesday we'll be working on that. I have already set streams up for tomorrow and Tuesday because Monday I'm not going to be broadcasting. So we're going to be painting that up and making it pretty but it's nice and hard and i'll show you guys here it is dried i have to say it turned out rather well listen to that it's hard Those little things that I put in there to keep the branches up work wonders. Yeah, it's already awesome. Yeah, I like it. So, can you say a woodland witch would wear this or a forest witch would wear it? <laughs> it's awful small for my head, but hey, it worked. A lot of pieces sticking out and everything. So, yep, it's still kind of ugly on the bottom side, but we'll paint that black. That way you don't see the, the tape. But yeah, that's how she turned out. I mean, it's it's stuck on there. It's It's not moving. But yeah, that's what all that tape and aluminum foil and those paper towels and glue turned into. I can see. I rather like it. 
The reason I'm wearing a robe today, it's kind of chilly in the house, but it's warm outside. It's just chilly in the house. I get cold really easy. Even if the slightest temperature change, I'm, I'm in a robe or a coat or something. I'm still in shorts, but I got my robe on. Where's everybody at? I'm usually coming in around about this time. Anybody getting their notifications? But today we are going to be making a Halloween canvas. And we're just using an 8x10. I think it's an 8x10. Yeah, 8x10 canvas panel. And it's the flat ones, not the... You don't get them? Did you, uh, did you check and see if your bell was rung? whether I want to gesso this white. I don't even know where my white gesso is at. Mm -hmm, somewhere. Or if I want to go black with it. I'm not sure. Feels like it's already gessoed. Oh, it's not there. Yeah. Well, y'all can see it's a brand new canvas. Untouched by my hands, anyway. Plain white. Um, I want to start with the background uh, for this, and let me show you what I'm hope I'm possibly going to be using today. I am going to be using some cheesecloth. Got this at Walmart. I'm going to be using some um, some texture paste and matte metallic. But it comes out white. And then I'm going to be using some uh, Night Gel Medium. I'm going to be using a few stencils. I've got the Holly Quinn. Um, stencil here. I think it's the Harley Quinn. Mesh layering stencil. It says mesh, but I come and call it Harley Quinn because it looks like a Harley Quinn bun. Sort of. I'm going to be using the brick wall. The brick stencil. And then I have a number of uh, die cuts I'm going to be using. I couldn't get to my black, so they're all white, so they're going to be well, I had uh, some paint, you know, the paint snippets, paint samples. I found that in my bucket, so I went ahead and cut up some uh, black bats and some scaredy cats. These make the perfect um, die cut piece if you're just wanting just a small piece and you don't want to cut a huge paper just for your small die cutter. Those little paint samples are worth work wonders and it was a kills a kills paint sample so I got that I got a few um, different types of die cuts I'm not going to show you because I'm not sure if I'm going to use them so we're not going to get it all excited but I know I'm going to be using the cats and the bats cats and bats and animals the series you're born ain't never seen no unicorn anyway um that's the little pieces that we're going to be uh, doing. Um, I printed out some images that we're going to be putting on. I need to get my Mod Podge. Um, don't know if I'm going to be using them or not. If not, they'll go on to some tags for Halloween. This is just typing paper. printed that up. I think I made it too big. Hi, Katrine. Uh, 
And then I wrote a little poem to put on here. It says, All Hallows Eve, the, go the goblins the goblins play their tune. They dance in the moonlight to the witch's evil crew. That's a little poem I wrote. Just something real quick. I typed it just before I got off my computer. So I figure I'd work with what I've got here. <clears throat> and so I've got some paints and a couple sprays that I'm going to use. Hopefully I get some uh, good ideas coming out of this. So that's what we're going to be hopefully using today. Um, I've left my little wax paper thing down. That way if I get any paint or anything down, I don't get it on this glass mat because it's still got paint on it or glue on it. From where the the tree dripped, the witch hat tree dripped. So, um, if y'all have any ideas, shoot them at me. I could, I'll take them. Um, I just I just grabbed a few things, cut out a few things, and printed out a few things that I can use. But I do know I know slightly what I want to do with the background. So. And that's what we're going to be doing. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. So, I'm going to put you guys down to the table. I got to sketch you guys up because y'all are really far back. I got to put you back whenever I was doing the tree. So, I'm going to move my paint to the over here. Do we have any painters in here? I, I learned a cute little trick. Oh, Janie's lurking today. Okay. Do we have any painters in here? Because I learned a little trick that I want to share. I want to share with you. Painters. Anyway, the trick is, um, if you're rolling down the highway, um, if you have a paintbrush that is like bent all out of shape, you know, like fuzzy, you know, like how the bristles are just going bing, you know, just unruly. Uh, take some white vinegar and soak your paint brushes in the white vinegar and it should straighten your brush back out to where it used to be that's the that's what I what it's what I seen I don't know how long she waited you're supposed to soak your brushes in the white vinegar and they should return back to their their normal state who's gonna try that if you do try that let me know if that works <laughs> Because I've got a lot of paint brushes that are in that state. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to go get some paint brushes. Let's see. Yeah, I got to clean some. I don't have any wide ones. Let me see if I've got something back there. to use this and what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the center oh come on quit moving 
Okay, we're just going to work on the background and we're going to work on the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake this yellow up. And I'm going to put some out. You know, take your brush, kind of just lightly put it on your brush. Just work from the center up. And this is a flat 8x10 canvas that we're working with. No, I didn't just let I, I forgot. That's okay. I think this is pretty good. It'll work because it's got a it's got a rough texture to it. You know something for the paint to stick to. the paint so we'll put it on there although we may be covering that up all right now we have that now we're going to put a oh i didn't get rid out crud hang on a minute i got my big boxes of paint sitting here true red again but we're going to add a little bit of yellow to that as well so well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, a hot mess with this I'm gonna make like a, a either a burnt orange or a light orange one you never know Like a, a very lightish red. And we're just going to lightly just brush across that. I may have put a little too much paint out, but that's okay. Don't worry about all these brush strokes over here. We're going to put a darker color down for that. All right. Now, we've got that. I'm going to heat, heat set that. there I don't work with a lot of canvases so I don't know but this seems to work this is seeming to work anyway oh yes by the way we do have a birthday and it is Mich Michelle Perry's birthday so everyone if you have not please wish Miss Michelle Perry a very very happy birthday And that is not the, for whoever who don't know who she is, that is a little uh, uh, unique crafts by Michelle, I believe. She's, I believe that's what her YouTube name is now. Okay. I need my box for it. Didn't get it. Watch me not have it in here. That's okay. No, actually, I got this canvas at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to darken it. I'm going to try. If not, I'll grab my... I'll try and grab... Come on. Yeah. 
matches the goopy, the goopy black that I had. Yep, that's the goopy black. Nope, we ain't using that. Nope, nope, nope. I just need a drop. To darken that up. Hey, Shirley! Almost made it a plum color. I made it more of a dark, 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 dark purple. Another drop. All right, let's see what that looks like. So we're just gonna swipe this on here. It looks almost black. That's okay. We'll cover that up. We're just playing with the background anyway. This is just the, the beginning. <clears throat> I had a bigger brush, but my other bigger brushes are dirty. Kind of not what I wanted to do, but we will fix it. I always do. This one is just regular black, not my jet black. Don't worry about these brush strokes. They're going to disappear because I've got other plans. Not. All right, the next color we're going to be grabbing is my cobalt blue. But first, we got to heat set this. Again.
Sandra. All right, now we are going to grab my cobalt blue. Instead of using a brush, I am going to use my sponge that Miss Jamie sent to me, and it is beginning to look a little rough around the edges. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit of cobalt blue down, one of my favorite color blues ever. Said, don't worry about them white spots. I have a plan. heat set that and then we're going to pull out our stencil and our texture paste. It's almost dried out. Oh. I need to get some more. Mine. Okay, I'm going to take some out here. I'm going to tint. I think I may have pulled that too much. I'm going to tint that with a little bit of black. Just a little bit. Give it a grayish color.
have an appearance of a stone wall. Stone wall that is falling down. Now we are going to take our other stencil here, our Tim Holtz collection, our Harley Quinn, well, I'm going to call it a Harley Quinn, but it's not a Harley Quinn, not well, technically, but that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to put that over here in our corner here, and we are going to use see some uh, burnt umber. I'm going to stencil that on. I was going to use the texture paste again over here, but it seemed to be like really dry, so I'm just going to pull it this way. Try it this way. That give you an appearance of tree tree sitting right there like it's growing it's growing in that mist Cheryl, you've not missed much. I just put orange and uh, yellow here in the front, or a little bit of red and orange. I went and put a little bit of black and purple on the outside where you see the black. Then I went in with some texture paste and tinted it gray, used a stencil and model or uh, uh, texture paste to make a wall here. Then I used another stencil to make the, uh, the like the Harley Quinn um, texture look there on the side. That's all you've missed. I don't want to overheat that. So we'll work on something else. All right. Now, let's see. I have some images 
over here that I want to put my other things down, but I want to find the image I want to put down near it. So I gotta do some cutting. That's what you're gonna watch me do here. I'm fussy cutting with big scissors. I didn't think to get on. But this is a tall image, so. Should work. big paper out. I am not getting that caught up in anything. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. Y'all working on anything while y'all are watching or listening? Oh, my kitties are doing good. Kitties are doing good. Georgie and Dozier, they're inside, outside. They come in for a little bit during the morning when their daddy leaves, but then I put them back outside. I let Dozier love on me, and Georgie, he just gets into things in the house, and so I get mad at him. I have to put him out. I let Dozier stay in here for just a little bit longer, and then I put him out. It's not fair. But they stay around back mostly, back of the house, because they know that's where we take Cooper out, and they like to mess with Cooper whenever he goes outside. So they're all doing good. They're all still around, even Mommy Kitty. She sits on the front porch, just guards the place. And it's funny, when we go walking or something, not with, uh, not with our bikes, uh, they like to follow us and we have to bait them to stay home so they don't get hit by the cars. Darn that, you ain't no more. Ah, I got him. I've been watching him fly around the last 10 minutes. But anyway, uh, we have to bait them to stay at the house so they don't get hit by the cars. Now, one of them, they have, they sometimes get a wild hair and they like to follow all the way up and then they'll sit there and wait like a puppy dog until we come back through and then rainy the mother of them all she'll look at she'll look at us and meow and then she'll like basically like well here you go mom daddy i'm i'm gonna I'm a guide you home this is the way home so she she keeps she looks back at us and make sure we're still following her so it's kind of cute rainy never used to be that way but she loves us she's very loyal and she keeps cooper in line i can tell you that because when Cooper gets to being too rowdy with her, she'll buck up on him and paw at his head like, Hey, hey, dummy, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> so, it's funny to watch them play. But she goes looking for Cooper. She ain't seen Cooper in a while. She'll go looking for him. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. She 
he sure hits him in the nose to get some act right in him. But he still he still got the puppy in him. And he listens to me. When the, when his daddy's not here, he listens to me. He cuddles up to me and waits until I get up to even move. Some little bitty leaves. I put them on here, but I don't have none. And this is like a skeleton tree, so that's a good thing. And this is just inkjet printed on basic regular paper, typing paper. But we are going to use it for a image here and hopefully the color don't bleed. It's his sacred love. It's his sacred lover. <laughs> hey Ray Ray. Uh. No, it's secret lovers a darn dog next door. Darn white Pekingese she got over there. Oh, Lord. She must be in heat again because every time he gets a chance, he runs over there. Love the tree. Well, thank you. I got it off of Pinterest, I think. I get a lot of my images on Pinterest. There's a few that I get off of Google, but most of my images I get on uh, Pinterest. when you get when you hit it. images I was like mm -hmm. you gotta put him in there and so I kind of wrapped around wrapped my head around this image here try to figure out what I was going to do I want to get some silicone you know that stuff that you get to caulk your your door frames and stuff like that the clear the hundred percent because I was watching YouTube today and I seen a tutorial on how to make your own silicone molds and I want to try it and all you need is a hundred percent silicone a bucket and some soap like dish soap and cold water and so I want to see if it will work with some of the things that I have that I don't want to use and I want to make a copy of. Maybe I can make me a silicone mold out of that and see if it works and I can reuse it over and over and over again. Because the things that she did, this woman, I can't remember who I watched, huh? That did it. But her images turned out really good pieces but she used resin to make copies I would use like air dry clay to press into the molds 
but they seem to come out of the little molds that they, that she made really really nicely. Has anybody ever made homemade silicone molds like that? What she did was is that she took a bucket like a scrap bucket and she put the 100% silicone in the water but before she put it in the water she put the dish soap in the bucket and made sure it was all soapy and slick and squirted the silicone from the from the container into the bucket and she used her hands to kind of mush it all together and work it and made it to where it was like you have to work it in the water and made it to where it was pliable and where it stuck together and then she took a transparency sheet and she placed it on the on the transparency in like a little ball. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. And she took the piece that she was wanting to make a copy of and she pressed it down into the mold and let it let the silicone set, you know, get uh to get to harden up. And then once it was hardened up, she took it out and um she got the she got the mold. And so I thought that was really neat. I want to try that. So if y'all try that before I do, let me know if it works for you guys. Because I want to try it. Okay, now we've got that. I've got that cut out. Now I have... Some cheesecloth here that I want to play with. Got that cut out. That's quite a bit of cheesecloth. I don't need that much. Not that much. That's quite a bit. That's. 36 inches by 3 yards. That's quite a bit of cheesecloth. And I got it in Walmart in the sewing section, believe it or not. I got this in the sewing section. There were like three different sizes of this stuff. Wow. I don't even need that much. Holy crap. I can make some Halloweener tags. Halloweeners! Alright, now I am going to set that out of the way. Can y'all know what I'm going to do? I need my brown paint and my squirt bottle because we are going to make an acrylic spray. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a touch of water in there. Three quarters of the way. And then I'm going to put some paint in there. Oh, Lord have mercy. That looks like you don't want to know. You don't want to know what that looks like to me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yuck. All right. I'm to give her a good shake. Test sheet. And this seems to be a perfect sheet to test with. Mm 
I need it a little bit darker, so you know what? I'm going to add just a black, barely, some black paint. Oh, nope, that's not black. Duh. Huh? Where is it at? Here we go. It's getting darker. Whoa. Oh, Millie. There we go. Now we're going to lay that over top of that. I'm going to spray it. that brown another time because we still got quite a bit of Halloween stuff to go and I'll use it. Alright now let's get this. Now let's use our matte gel again. Let's see which one I'll do.
What am I using? I am using matte gel medium. It is This is by Matt. It's by Master's Touch. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. You don't need much of this stuff either. So we gotta sit here and dry it. Don't we wanna make sure it's it's down? All right. Now we gotta sit here and dry it. Is the tree dried? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's dry. This is not. This is a cutout. Good morning, Eddie Dog. The one from yesterday, yeah, it's dry. It's completely dry. But I won't be working on that one until um, Tuesday. I've got to find a few things for it. be on the screen, man. Oh I had it sitting in front of my big fan all night and this morning. It ain't brought it. Got a minute to cool down, maybe it'll harden up. All right. 
So we have that. Y'all see the slight hint of brick behind that? Y'all seeing that? Excuse me, I keep burping on these. Alright, now I have an image here that I'm going to put right there, but I have got to distress it somehow. But I don't know where my things are. So it's going to go right there. I need my little fussy covers. Oh. Come on. My fingers ain't want to work today. Need to be wearing my glasses for this. Oh no. Sorry, when I fussy cut, I get real quiet. I apologize. I have an idea. I think how I'm going to distress this. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Maybe I'll screw it up. But I can actually get on with my computer and print it right here. Again. <laughs> so I left my computer in here. But it's off. I don't need my internet to print these. I got them saved to the computer. Did that the other day while James was James Lee was sleeping. I use his Wi Fi whenever he's sleeping. Now, I'm going to move this out of the way again, and I am going to find my sponge. Here it is. We still got a little bit of See some of that brown. There we go. It works. I just got to be real careful because this is ain't yet. There we go. Gotta dry it. Uh, 
I'm using my noggin since I don't have any distress inks anymore. So. Try this somehow without it flying off everywhere. Oh, it's hot. Also be used as a glue, but I don't need much. I'm not up close. Y'all can see. Been working on it upside down for you. medium is has a multi-purpose can be used as a glaze can be used as a glue do I look under to find you on Facebook? Just look for my name, darling. Emily Welda. Same as my name. You'll see me. Uh, are you wanting personal or do you want, are you wanting uh, the Creative Jewels by Emily uh, Facebook group? Because if you're in the group and you just hit, uh, you click my name, you can send me a personal friend request that way as well. So this is what we have so far, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching.
All right. And where is our tree at? Did we make, did we, did we, did we lose it? Oh, there it is. So we're going to put that right there. First, where's my envelope of preciousness? And we've got to do something with that because, yeah. I'm going to say she likes it. this picture just a hair smaller. This is a creepy, creepy picture. We have to cut around some of the, the peoples in it.
Let's It's coming together. Slowly, surely. Oh no, don't cut your leg off. Please don't cut, cut his leg off, Emily. You don't deserve that. Little Spidey has to have eight legs. I don't like spiders. I absolutely loathe the sight of spiders, but guess what our theme is for our yard? Spiders. Go figure. Next year, I think it's going to be zombies. Yes, uh, the Creative Jills by Emily group. Yes, you, you can post your pictures there. That is where you post them. I would love to see everybody's Halloween and ghoulish things or, or just other things that they've made. I would love to see it. All of our members are very, we love our arts. And crafts and so if you've got something that you want to show us you more than you you are more than uh, willing to post them post them Ugh. Uh oh, I think James Lee's home because Yep, he's home. I hear the brakes on the truck. Air brakes. Hang on a minute, I gotta go open the door. Sorry about that. Ooh. <sighs> yes. I'm alive and I'm live. Huh? You bring me presents. What is that? I was saying thing. I got you the very first Dark time. Wine, time. Uh, that's that's it. It. No, it's not. I didn't drink that the last time. The very first bottle. 
very first bottles. Peaches. Peach water. The sparkle water. Uh, Taste it, open it. My driver's looking at me. I'm like, watch your mouth. Oh, there's only like four of them. Like that, like that. So I think they're really good. Okay, I'll try it. Alright, we'll see. Oh, I got his lighter. Uh oh. Better call and tell him. Yeah, I can get it more. Not bad. It tastes like tangerines. <laughs> That's no wonder it's a Clementine. Clementine uh, flavor. Oh. Oh. That's nice. That you can hold soups and coffees and stuff like that. Like if I make soup or something for uh, when, during winter time, I put it in there and you can have hot lunch. Mm. Good deal. Oh, go get the mail. Ah, I can get James Lee. Go get my mail. <laughs> uh, I think the sorcerers. Oh, I missed a miss something. Did you try the hat, Laura? Did you try it yet? This is the most tedious part right here is cutting the little spindly leg. I'll tell him you said hi, Laura. He's outside getting the mail. Oh, that's just a, uh, that's just a, basically saying that they deliver it all. It's just basically, yeah. They deliver what? My things. Today? No, 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 no. That's they 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 mail that after. I don't want to. I don't want to say what my things are. Uh huh. <laughs> It'll give away what I'm going to be putting in the auction. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Oh, hey, babe. I guess he went to the bathroom. All right, and we got our little spider all cut out. Now, let's get all this paper out of the way. <clears throat> all right, now. This is going to go here. Excuse me. And I am going to put this in front of this because it'll be like backwards shadow. Behave. I 
in here I want to get out of here. And my temples thing. Not just fits. Right over top of that owl. Yes. him a little bit of a character. something to go on the tombstone if I have anything. I don't think there's anything small enough to go on that tombstone. Coming together. I don't know if that'll fit. Yeah, that'll fit. Now, we just got to glue everything down and then the whole thing will come together. Alright, let me start with that. There it is. Y'all see how that's going to turn out? I'm going to get some more of that, uh, use some more of that cheesecloth, and I'm going to get get it and kind of string it apart, and I'm going to put it in the tree, and I'm going to drape the spider, let it kind of drop down from the from the tree. Come on, glue. I just filled you up.
kind of sort of had this one planned, but sometimes with mixed media like this, you have to have it planned or else you don't know what the heck you're doing. <laughs> Okay. Laura said hi. Hey. Have a good Can it be made out of cereal boxes? What are you talking about? Can what be made of cereal boxes? Your canvas? Yes. You can use anything for your canvas. Well, it depends on how well you can bend your box. I think I left that open and it dried out a little bit. You just got to be able to bend your box if you, uh, if you make it. It's whatever you want to make it from. I just use chipboard. This basically what that is is basically like a cereal box with no writing or anything on it. That's all that is. ears ringing so bad here lately.
Sorry, I'm getting real quiet on you there. But we've got to do some painting on it. Can't feel nothing. It's glue and crud's on the top of my finger. Okay.
Yeah, it is very, very quiet. Everybody's watching. This is what our little tree and graveyard look like. You watch until two o'clock. Um, I'm almost done. I'm going to put this on. Thank <laughs> you. 